Many of the major commodities clawing their way back into the green to end last week. Michelle Rook has an update in the markets now. Friday's market closes in the grains, mostly lower except for soybeans, but mostly higher in the livestock. Rich Nelson with Allen Dell is joining us. The pop that we saw in soybeans last Friday, Rich, you know, was that just short covering going into that three-day holiday? You know, I certainly have to say so. Keep in mind here, as far as soybeans, they still had rising open interest numbers up 12,000 on Wednesday, 14,000 added to open interest on Thursday on those new lows. So a high confidence bear market still with us on the soybean side. I would not suggest Friday's trade is really yet uh, that uh, low of the low point we're kind of looking at here. So you think it might be just a one day pop then, huh? I hate to say so. Uh, all of our downside targets have been met and we would suggest this market can move into that uh, sideways period, a pause period, so to speak. But uh, that's our general economic view. To certainly uh, the short-term trade view, though, is certainly still a downtrend still in place right now, though. And corn and much of the wheat sector hitting new contract lows last Friday as well. But do you think that we've got most of the bearish news moved into that market, or are we getting close anyways? I got to say so on the corn side. Maybe there's some light, chi- uh, light changes here. Uh, since February 5th, we have seen open interest drop in corn. So in other words, this last leg of lower prices is now people getting out. So whether it's profit taking from bears or weak bulls finally getting out, either way, uh, the point is for corn at least, we are seeing people get out on this last leg. So maybe into this next week ahead, we might see a little more of a pause rather than the soybean discussion here. We did have a conversely strong day on Friday in the cattle market. New highs for the movement, both live and feeder cattle futures. Can we keep going? On this side, I actually do think so, especially for the feeder side. You know, we've got, we got to point out this week's sale bar in action. Uh, the feeder is up 37% over last year. That's one year versus the prior year. Uh, calf prices in the sale bar are up 41% versus last year. So the fact is, even for live cattle, which don't have that, Good, strong argument for the short term yet. They're still posting gains in new contract highs. So both feeders and fats uh, certainly ending the week on a very strong note here. No doubt, especially with some of that lower cash trade we saw in the Fed market. Thanks for joining us. Rich Nelson with Allendale. We'll have more Ag Day coming up. To talk to Rich Nelson one-on-one, call 800-262-7538.